According to a February report from the National Association of Home Builders, home builder confidence jumped this month by the largest amount in almost 10 years. And that's because falling mortgage rates are once again pulling in more home buyers. And that's music to the ears of our next guest. John Beach and Michelle Rizov are the 2023 Sioux Empire Home Show Committee co-chair, which takes place starting one week from today. And they're here to tell us what we can find at the home show and what new trends we're likely to see among the events, more than 235 vendor booths and displays. So welcome to both of you. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having us. So we're Thanks. talking about the home show that's coming up. I'm excited for it. Yeah. Tell me what people can expect there. Well, if you're looking at either remodeling or building, um, you're going to find everything you need out there from kitchen to bathroom to the new flooring to outdoor living. There's a lot to take in. Like you said, we have over 235 booths out there. So if you can't find what you're looking for there, you're probably not going to find it. Yeah. And like you said, remodeling, you don't necessarily have to be somebody who's building a new home to attend. Correct. Yeah. You, it's for anybody, whether you're just looking to get ideas if you're remodeling a uh, one room, an entire house, John can talk to. Yeah, we have we have a lot of our clients that come in and kind of go through the go through the space, just looking at flooring, the cabinetry, mm -hmm. meeting with different people. It's nice to develop those relationships and start those relationships so that when you're moving forward into your project, you kind of know where you want to go. Right. Absolutely, and kids can also come to the event. Right. Yes. Yeah, we have a kid zone this year. We've been doing that. Uh, in the past, we've made toolboxes and birdhouses. This year, they're little keepsake boxes. Uh, there was about 10 of us in a shop earlier this week kind of mm -hmm. cutting those up, and we want all the kids to come out and have fun, make it a family affair. Yeah. Uh, so Saturday from 10 to 2, and then Sunday from 11 to 2, the kids can come out, get help from their parents, get help from some of our volunteers out there and make a keepsake box. Yeah. That's awesome. Now frame the future. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, so frame the future, we're trying to, so we got the little kids involved. Now we want to get the older kids involved. Uh, everybody's struggling with workforce development right now. Uh, so it's our way to kind of get high school kids involved and interested. So we have a couple high schools coming in. They're doing a written test. Okay. Uh, <laughs> they're working on some projects right now, actually. They're making some outdoor games uh, that we're going to judge. Some dice, the Yahtzee game. Yeah, like uh, the big ones that people yep, see. Yep. Yeah, the big ones, the outdoor Jenga sets and bean bags. And we're going to kind of judge that we gave them some plans. They're supposed to be following them. They're supposed to be adding their creative techniques and see how that goes. And then they get to walk around the home show and see what's all involved in our industry. That's amazing. That's a really good way to get kids interested in maybe a future in this as well. Yes. Have you guys seen that in the past? Uh, no, we've never tried to do that before. So I this mean, is the first go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is the first go. So we only have a couple of schools involved. Hopefully it takes off. Hopefully there's interest there and we can involve more schools in the years to come. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now with trends that people are going to be looking for, tell me about, you know, bathroom trends have been one thing that a lot of people have been remodeling lately. Right. What do you expect or what are you seeing for looking forward to 2023 and the new trends? Yeah, there's a lot of new stuff coming out. Uh, we've got the heated towel racks, the oh, standalone tubs. Um, you can turn your shower on from your phone, set the temperature. A lot of technology, new trends are coming out. So it's, it's going to be fabulous out there this year. Yeah, you said being able to turn your shower on mm -hmm. from your phone. You can lay in bed and turn your shower on. Oh my goodness. So you get in and there's already going to be <laughs> yep. hot water. It's already ready for you. That's amazing. <laughs> um, and lighting trends, that's another thing, turning it on from your phone that's been kind of going towards a smart home thing. Yep. Tell me about lighting trends you're seeing. You probably see more of that than I do with the remodels and stuff. Uh, yeah, we're seeing, we're seeing a lot of different things. I mean, Lighting constantly changes. Uh, we've gotten in some projects that have gotten very, you know, modern, contemporary kind of styles. Uh, you see some of that on the parade as yeah. well. So you're going to be able to see that in some of the booths as they decorate. Uh, you're going to be able to see what's what's new. Now with lighting trends, you don't necessarily. You, I think you think lights, but it's not always light fixtures. It's also natural, natural light, light and windows. Talk to me about how people can incorporate a little bit more natural light into their house. Uh, we've been incorporating a lot of transoms where we can popping them into popping them into kitchens, bathrooms, wherever we can work that natural light in. Like you said, uh, even getting into solar tubes or skylights to try to bring some into more of the core of the house, uh, just getting more and more light. 
Yeah. Has that been something that you've been seeing people are wanting a little bit more of is just kind of that open, airy feel? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, the open concept is huge right now. People are taking down walls and re remodeling their houses and just the natural light, just getting as much light in as from outside as you can. I'm a huge fan of getting yeah. in more natural light. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about the kitchen. There are so many new things that I'm seeing in kitchens lately. What can people see at the home show that's maybe new? Yeah, I think you're going to see a lot more um, hardware change again. Um, and that's a bold, simple one. Yeah, bold cabinet colors are going to be huge this year. Um, stone slabs versus granite, um, just the creative cabinetry and the backsplash from the, you know, the cabinets all the way up. So there's, there's a lot of new things happening. And the colors of the yeah. cabinetry, you're going to be yeah. able to see some different colors. Yep. Uh, you know, people aren't going with just the traditional white and the traditional stain anymore. Mm -hmm. You're going to see some bold colors out right. there, I'm sure. That seems to be something I'm seeing a lot of. Lots of greens or even kind of a tan on mm -hmm. cabinets. And also for people who want to do remodeling, that's a simple thing that you can do to change it up. Right, right. And now flooring. That is a <laughs> massive one in houses. It's, I mean, that's a huge part of your house and a huge part of how it looks. Mm -hmm. Tell me about what we're seeing. I think from what I've seen is a lot more of the, the hardwood or the vinyl flooring versus mm -hmm. carpet anymore. Um, you can throw an area rug down to cover that up so it doesn't seem so cold. Um, just more durable and resilient surfaces are, are what's coming back. How about tiling? I've seen a lot of fun tiles in bathrooms and kitchens now. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of new tile. I mean, for so long, you know, it was the old 12 by 12s and 13 by 13s. And now we got into the 12 by 24s. And those are still very popular. But you're getting into the hexagons and octagons. Uh, in all sorts of different shapes, especially in the mm -hmm. backsplashes. Yep. There's so many ways to start personalizing your home, and people can find out at the home show, so right. it's very exciting. Wonderful. Well, thank you both so much for joining us and talking to us about this. I'm excited. I want to go to the home show. I'm working on remodeling, so I'm going to have to get there. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thanks for having us. We Absolutely. Yeah, thanks. Well, you'll find all the fun and great ideas for your home at the Sioux Falls Convention Center and Arena starting one week from today. The hours are 10 to 8 Friday, February 24th, and Saturday, February 25th, and 11 to 5 on Sunday, February 26th. Friday through Sunday. Head online to hbasueempire.com forward slash home show for complete home show information. And don't forget the building zone in the arena building where children can build a keepsake box and take them home for free with paid admission. You can enter the building zone from 10 to 2 on Saturday and 11 to 2 on Sunday during the home show weekend. This Kelloland Living segment has been sponsored by the Home Builders Association of the Sioux Empire working together to build your communities.